Time to pack some orders. Hey guys, Bob here from Adosa Bricks. Sporting my new Adosa Bricks shirt. Don't know what I'm talking about. Check out Facebook. Thanks to Amanda for making it for me. Appreciate it. Tonight we're packing some orders and we got a couple we got to pack. So let's start with the first one. If you look, we got Carnage we need to pack. So let's find where Carnage is. I have my minifigs over here. As you can see, I have a pile of my minifigs that I have yet to bag, but these are all entered into the system. Just need to bag them. Let's take a look to see where Carnage is. Let's take a look here at the top. Carnage is going to be nice and red. I'm going to be able to see it right away. Uh, that boom right there. Take a look at that. Pretty sweet. He's got all of the extra arms and everything like that. So that's order number one. All right, there we go. Order number one is packaged, ready to go, including the business card, our new Adosa Burks business card. Also, thanks to Amanda for making. Let's take a look at order number two. All right, so it looks like we have a lot more pieces in this one, as well as a minifig, the new minifig we just got uh, from the Bricktober special. All right, let's get the minifig first. How are they gonna be up here on the top somewhere? I see some of the other ones. Where, where are you? There you are. Boom. When we get more space, which we're going to hopefully be getting soon, be able to spread these out. Uh, then we have a bunch of other pieces, so I'm going to go pull all those pieces and have them ready to go, and I'll show you guys that. So order number two, as you can see, is packed. I started to wrap some of the... Mini figs in bubble wrap as well for extra protection. As you see, I put all the other pieces in here. Got the business card in there. Uh, that way, when they pull it out of the bag, they will see all the pieces in one spot. And of course, it will go in our traditional blue uh, bag. Uh, I know we've talked about on the Facebook about reducing some of our plastic. We're still looking into how to do this. We're actually going to do a survey on a couple Lego groups that we're part of to see what consumers want. Consumers want options for reduced plastic, but we want to figure out what's the best way of doing that. We know we don't want to mix used pieces with new pieces, but we want to make sure we have it figured out and we're getting some input. So let's take a look at the next order. Order number three. Ah, it's asking for one of the dinosaurs that we recently just uploaded, and they are all just chilling out here waiting to be sold, and it's going to be this one. So let's bag it up and get it ready for the order. Rawr. All right, finished wrapping up order number three. Again, I decided to put it in some bubble wrap to keep it protected, especially since this was a really good um, quality piece. There wasn't really any damage done to it. It's used, but it was in great shape. Put the business card with it, and again, put it in the blue envelope. Let's take a look at the next order here. Have to go back to the next pe previous page. Got a big order here. Take a look at it. Boom, lots of bricks. This is actually going on the Bricksy order. Uh, this is part of the uh, partnership we've done with Bricksy where we are going to be sending him bricks and I actually have his box here of bricks so far over 300 bricks so far not including that recent one pretty sized box I actually had to use a box that's not one of our own because I didn't have a big enough box uh, so Brixie is in for a real treat. Definitely going to weigh this box afterwards. This goes out tomorrow to Brixie. We'll take probably about a week to get to him since it's going to Canada but I think he's in for a real treat. So order number four is all bagged and ready to go. As you can see, separated the pieces. I also put names on it for people who donated to Brixie. It's all going to have to go in this box. I'm hoping I have enough room. Um, so I'm going to pack that all in the box. While I'm doing this, I am watching Brixie build the Hegwig set right now. Uh, nice entertainment while packing orders and sorting pieces tonight. So get these in here. This goes out tomorrow for him. Hopefully, again, it takes a week to get there. Well, it fit in the box. Barely, but it fits. Should be able to close. If you guys haven't subscribed yet to Brixie, please do so. He's got a great channel. Does live streams and videos every day. So check out Brixie. And these are, again, bricks going to his huge wall. He is building of bricks for his basement project. All right. Order number five is the last order. Has a good amount of pieces and some minifigs that are 2D2. Uh, this one actually had a special note about um, our cleaning practices. Uh, she asked that we do not use Lysol wipes with her order uh, because she has an allergic reaction to it. And so I think it was a great time to kind of bring up our, our policy here. Uh, we do clean our tabletops daily. Um, and then with our pieces, any used pieces we do clean, we actually clean with a baby wipe. Uh, that tends to keep them really nice and clean and not damage the product as much. When we use some of those Lysol wipes, they seem to be a little harsh and damage the paint. 
uh, the baby wipe cleans them just as well. Since she has a problem, we are actually going to take our tray, which I do wipe down with ice. So I'm actually going to wash it with hot water first, and I'll do her order just on this, and hopefully that will help some contamination for her. I emailed her already our practices so that she also knew. Um, so hopefully, and I try, and I bet was as transparent as possible with her, and I'll do that with anybody if they send me any, any type of information. And so this was a good order, I, and I said I've reached out to her and told her what we do. So hopefully she feels comfortable with that. So let's get this one packed. And here is the end of order number five. As I said, we went and washed the tray with hot water and soap uh, to help with hopefully getting rid of any type of residue from the Lysol. We'll put it in our big bag. Everything got bagged in here. Um, there's actually 82 pieces all together here, but uh, more decorative pieces. Definitely finishing a display, it looks like. Of course, this card goes in there, and of course, there is the R2 unit. Put it in the bag, have the other ones here, um, and now we'll do shipping labels and get these out in the mail tomorrow. And some of these people will get these orders by Monday or Tuesday, so it's exciting. Still watching Brixie build the Hegwig, having a good time on the chat. Again, if you haven't subscribed, check out his channel. And here's the final stages of our orders. Five packages ready to go to the post office. As you can see, four blue envelopes and then one box. The box, of course, is going to Brixie. And then the four blue envelopes are going to go across the United States. Luckily, the post office is only about 10 minutes from my house. But you can see they're all taped up. I'm not going to show you the names, but I still focus on taping the backs to make sure nothing happens to them. And I make sure that I tape the labels pretty well. Um, signature blue, I only use the blue um, poly bags, or not poly bags, I guess the bubble wrap bags. And then the boxes, I always put a dose of bricks on the side. Uh, I'm looking at buying a stamp so that looks a little bit fancier, um, but I've also started now to insert the card at the top as well. I'm putting the, the card taping in as well, so again, people know what it is as soon as they get it. So these packages are out. Looking forward to the next set of orders coming in today.